Hello, thank you so much for joining me for this workout. I'm Jessica and today we are together going to be working on toning, strengthening the upper body, core and leg muscles while we get those fat burning steps in. The only thing that you need for this workout is just a little bit of space to move. Get set up and we're going to get moving right now. Let's get going here. Give me some ankle circles on the right foot, whichever direction feels best to start with. Roll it around opposite. Switch it over to the left side. Reverse that circle here. Bring it on back in. Give me some easy kicks. Think about bending those knees softly and straightening them. Don't lock them out hard and fast. Let them warm up. Get ready for today's movement. Few more here. Last set. And bring the heels up towards the sitting area. Knee bends to the front, so it's not so much of a butt kick. Draw the foot up. Good, stretch out the hips, stretch out this back area. Little bit bigger, bending into the knees. You don't have to go further or bigger than what feels comfortable and safe for you. That goes for all of our exercises here today. Let's finish out this set here. Bring it to a march move with those arms we are going to be working with a little bit of upper body and core here today let's get that ready to work so we'll take a little bit of a wide stance and we'll take some torso rotations side to side easy here with that low back One more set here. Hands to the hips. Give me some circles all the way around. Warm up through everything. One last time here, and we're gonna get right into those exercises. We have a really good set here today. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Time will hopefully go by really quick. Swing it around, opposite direction. Beautiful, one more here. Pedal out those feet, make sure they're warmed up. Stretch those arms up and down. Last warm up exercise here. Great job, take it to an easy march here. Imagine today growing your spine nice and tall, engaging those core muscles in a way that they draw into the body. I don't want you sucking in, I don't want you holding the breath. I just want the core muscles coming up and in. So I don't want you pushing pressure out, pushing on the belly, pushing them out to the front. We don't want any of that. Think about tightening the whole core muscles up and in. Shoulders are gonna stay out of the ears any modifications that you need to any of these exercises here today. I'll have some suggestions along the way, but if something else works better for you, your health and safety comes first. Feel free to modify. All right, we're gonna take our first exercise here. We're gonna step out with the right leg, reach that right arm up and over, and then we're gonna take left arm. So it's gonna go here. Great job, just the right side here to start. Feeling those core muscles already. Good, tapping in and out. Right foot steps, few more times here. Bring it back in, march it out. You can really feel the leg and core work on that one. 
We're gonna go same thing, left side here. So this time left leg is going to be tapping out. Left arm reaches up and over, right arm across. Really great for loosening up the middle back if you're prone to a little bit of tightness in there. Nice and easy, standing leg is working too. No twisting in that knee. Last set here, bring it in, march it back out. Great job here. While we're marching, let's bring those shoulders up and out. Give me chicken wing here, but keep the shoulder joint out of the ears. Think about lifting the elbows and the hands. We'll break up our more intense exercises with something pretty standard. We'll maybe throw in a little bit of arms. You're doing great here. We're going to take two more of these. Open those arms out, widen out those legs. We're gonna tap into the center, pulse those arms up. If you would like a little bit bigger movement, tap it to the front, point the toes. Two options here. Keep those elbows up. Definitely watch how far those fingertips are coming in. Feel the whole shoulders and arms working here. few more arms are feeling this. You're doing great. Hang in here. Last set. March it out. Great job. Give everything a little wiggle if it needs it. Breaking it up. Give me a little bit of a shoulder roll and reach here. Open up through the shoulders and back. Plenty of time to work here today. We want to make sure that body feels good. All right, one more set and off to the next exercise. You're going to give me a tap forward to the ball of the foot. Crunch down. Feel those core muscles. This is what I'm talking about. Pull them in. Don't push them out. Good. Think about shoulders coming forward towards the thigh. Feel core work here if you would like. You can get a little bit of a side step going too. Really want you focusing on those abs. Standing crunch here. Neck and back. Feel good. Modify it if you need to. Good. As they get tired, don't get kind of messy in the form. Keep good form here. Last set and march it out. I caught myself at the very tail end there being like, whoa, I'm just kind of all over the place here. It's really hard for those abs to not only crunch, but they're also stabilizing and balancing you. Feet are working. Good. March it here. Give me a little more intensity. Swing those arms big to the front. Again, loosening up that middle back. We're already here. We might as well get some mobility. Next exercise in three, two, and one. Pendulum legs here, out to the side. Give me a reach. You don't have to lift high. 
Think about lifting with the heel. Make sure you're balanced on your foot before you start lifting the other side. Try not to lean really far over to the side. I'd rather you lift a little bit lower than be tipping over. Important work where you can control today. Do what you can with control and I promise in time you will do more. Two more sets. March it back out here. Straight, easy march, but I want a really good pace here. Move those arms. Land soft into the feet. Let those muscles absorb the impact. We're gonna take a side step with an upright row. Palms are gonna be facing the legs. Step it to the side, row it up. Foot can tap in to the middle or to the back. That's up to you. Feel those shoulders and back muscles working here. I don't want you popping the chest and low back forward on the pole. Keep it neutral through that spine. I got really creative with the exercises today. The next one I really like. I'm excited for that one. Keep going here, we've got a few more of these. March it out. Great job here. If you need to, I know it started off a little easy, and we definitely picked up intensity. If it's getting too much, you're having a hard time breathing, ease it down here, slow the walk. If you're at a comfortable pace, keep it going. Here we go, we're gonna turn ourselves facing the right direction. Left leg is gonna come back, we're gonna reach up, we're gonna pull the knee up, step it, swing it over, tap the right foot, on up and through. Good, see if you can come right, whoa. <laughs> so big challenge there as you can see, see if you can come right into the knee up. You can tap the foot down first if that makes it easier. So work, like I said, where you can control. Lots of balance here today. Swing those arms. Easy tap, watch out for those knees. few more to go. This is a big movement. We're going to be getting lots of calories here. Last time through. Give me that knee up and walk it out. Roll those shoulders. Shake out those hands. I'm sure you can guess what is next. We're going to go off to the opposite side. Whew. Really good workout here today. Here we go, let's turn it to the left. Right leg comes back, knee up, step it through, swing. Tap the foot first if you need to, or if you can, straight up. <laughs> that first one is a doozy on the straight up. After that, it gets easier. 
as you crunch that knee up, pull those core muscles in. Easier to do if you give me an exhale here. Great job here. Keep them going. We are almost there. Last one here. Bring it back in. March it out. Wonderful job here today. Our next exercise, while you're marching here, I'm going to tell you, is a rotational jumping jack, except there is no jumping. It's just a step. Arms can be traditional jumping jack up high, or if you have a little bit of sensitivity in the shoulders, you can keep it middle, or if they're getting tired, you can keep it low. So adjust the arm placement to suit what fits best for you. We're gonna start with the right side first. Arms are gonna come up, down, and back to the side. So a little bit of a tap back, but also a little bit of a turn. Good, how far you rotate, up to you. What feels good in the hips? What feels good in the knee? Squeeze those back muscles. It doesn't matter if you are low, middle, or high. Want them working. Somehow, I think I'm getting tired because I keep just going to the side. Take it back behind you if you can. If that's a good fit for you, bring it back. Beautiful workout here today. Bring it in, march it out. I know, I feel it in my arms, so I'm hoping, hoping that you do too. All right, we're gonna take those hands together. I want you pushing them together in a way that you feel the chest muscles working just a little bit, but keep it easy for the wrists and the fingers here. We're gonna take those legs out. Give me a little bit wide stance. To the right foot first, tap. Now, from here, if you would like a little more work, knee comes up. Don't push the core muscles out. Pull them in, pull them in. So they work, we want them to tighten up and in like a corset. We don't want to put pressure expanding and stretching them out. So if you're here, knee up, but you're pushing out too much. Take it to the knee, pull them in. And stay together, pushing through those chest muscles. Feeling the core here. Let's take this last set here. And again, march it out. Keep it moving. I'm keeping an eye on the time. Make sure that we don't go too far over and that also we don't end it too short here today. All right, last exercise on the list we're going to take it out out in in and every time you go see if you can get a little bit bigger and then challenge yourself so i'm going out i'm starting with my right this time i'm going to see if i can start with my left making my brain try to remember where i should be moving next Sit easy into the hips. 
Lots to focus on here. Give me any arms. That you can, but if you wanna focus on the legs, that's okay too. Make this as big as you can. As much work as you would like. Big steps. If it's too much in the knees, keep it here. <laughs> Coordination's hard. Don't get frustrated. Bring it back in. March. Beautiful job here. Let's go ahead. Repeat that list one more time. We're going to eliminate the marching in between. You know the exercises. This second round, just whatever gas you have left in the tank here, go ahead and spend it here. This is the last round. It's going to go a little bit quicker. It won't. It won't seem so long. It'll still be plenty of work here though. This is when we really got to dig deep, push through with whatever we have left to give to today's workout. You can do this. I can do this. We are going to do this together. Right arm reaches up. Tap that leg out and across. Good. Across with the left. I'm sorry. Opposite arm. Good. Feel the work in that left leg and core. Last one here. Switch it on over. Left arm, left foot tapping, right arm reaches across. Single leg moves are great for core strength and balance. Challenging the body to work with one side moving, one side stabilizing. stabilizing. I'm definitely getting tired. Hang in here with me. We'll get through this together. Bear with me. Last one here. Arms come out wide. Take those feet wide. Tap it in. Move those arms. Great job here. Option to tap and cross it to the front. Shoulders stay out of the ears. few more here. We're going to go to that, that uh, toe tap to the front with that crunch. Let's go in four, three, two, and one. Tap it. Crunch it forward. Good. Tucking the hips back, sending the chest forward, pulling the core muscles up and in. Hands can be wherever you feel like they help you work. Try to keep it right here to the front. I notice I'm, my body's wanting to go every other direction to get away from this work. Keep it tight right here to the center. Four, three, two, and one. Great job there. All right, legs come together. Out to the sides. Press those arms up. Lift with the heel. Second round, this is tough. Hang in here with me. Even if you need to slow down, you need to modify, that's all right. 
Remember, upper body is staying up. We're not tipping over as we take that leg out. Nice and strong here, punch it up. Four, three, two, and one. Wide step. Pull those arms up from the floor. Like you're pulling up the waistband. You can tap it back behind you if you would like. Make sure that when you step, you're landing on the foot. You're not pushing to that outer edge of the ankle. I don't want any rolled ankles here today. Solid through the foot. Only go out as far as you can control and steady in those ankles. Four more. Three, two, and one. Leave that left leg to the back. Knee up, swing it through. Knee up, if you're getting tired, swing it through. Give me a tap. You can skip the knee up if it's just a little bit too much on this round. Almost missed that one. Little bit of core here. Next time we swing it over to the left, we'll leave it over there. Start with that right leg. Good, if I just lost you there, jump back in. You're okay, that was a quick transition. Same modification, tap here. If that knee up just feels a little too much. Great job here. Last time you have to see this one today. And here we go. All right, rotation jacks, I told you. We're already to the end of the list. This time goes so much faster. Arms wherever they feel good. Step it back. Pull those arms down and back. Elbows come back. No matter if they're high, middle, or low. Get those elbows back behind the body. Step and turn. I need to slow down this movement because otherwise I'm just, I'm just kind of tapping to the side and leaning, I'm not really engaging with the movement. So I'm gonna slow down, be a good example, work where I can control. Tapping it back, I wanna step it back, step it back. Great job here, let's go for two, and a one hands come together go ahead this time we're going to take them a little bit lower step those feet out tap swing those arms i want you to think about like a golf swing here rather than than wrists elbows or shoulders swing from the trunk of the body and i'm going opposite direction tapping or knee lift Great job. Knee lift is really hard down here. Give me that tap. Remember, we wanna work where we control through the core. You wanna pull it up, you want it to tighten it. You can't be pressing out on it. You can't be putting pressure and bearing down. Four, three, two, one. My goodness, all right, last one here. Out, out, in, in. Try to think about which leg started first and switch that up. Home stretch. This is the last exercise. We're gonna end with a few cool down walks 
and stretches. Stick around for those. I know it's really tempting to be like, oh, the workout's done. I'm out of here cooling down and stretching out. It's really important. It is good muscle recovery, repair. It sets you up for a really great workout next time, which of course, I hope you join me back here for that next workout. Make sure, I'll remind you guys now, subscribe before you head out of today's workout so that I can keep helping you get those fitness and health goals, giving you these great modified workouts. Careful with the joints, working on pulling everything up and in great for all levels so be sure to hit that subscribe button before we head out today and walk it out here my goodness all right easy walk like I said I know these cool downs they don't feel important sometimes and we can be in a rush they really are the workout is not done until you've taken complete care of the body a good warm up, nice set of work, and then a good cool down. <sighs> Out to the sides. Give me a tap, lean the body long, open up through that front hip area. Good, we're gonna get ahead of any tightness. Easy stretch here through that front hip. <sighs> this time, give me a little hip bump forward this leg here, if you're kind of pointing to the right, it's gonna be the left leg that has the stretch. Oh, hip flexors can get very fussy. This is also gonna be last little bit of work because I want you squeezing that sitting muscle. Oh, goodness. Great, great job here today. I do gotta tell you, cardio workouts are not they're not my favorite not because I don't think that they're amazing but I'm not really great at them circle those hips and I think we tend to avoid things that are not our strongest skill set and a few of our subscribers kept asking more walking workouts, more walking workouts. Reverse those hips other direction. And these are very popular workouts. I can see how many views each workout gets and walking workouts are always really high. And I thought, oh, all right, give, give them what they want. That's, that's my job, that's what I'm here for. And I'm so glad, I'm so thankful and glad that you guys kind of nudged me out of my comfort zone a little bit because they're tough but I really enjoy them and I, I didn't think that I would love them this much. So all of you guys, thank you for that. I like to think that you're here supporting and encouraging me to grow and improve and hopefully I am doing the same in return for you. Switch sides if you didn't see that here. Roll those ankles, opposite direction, heart rate should be cooling down step it in pedal out those feet stretch through the arch of the foot i know we are probably wearing shoes but think about those toes spreading open really important that those toes can connect and stretch to support you through your daily walking movements all right Let's go ahead, step the right leg back. Whoa. Ease it forward, just until you feel a stretch through that back heel, press it on up. And heel comes all the way down. You can get a little bit of a forward lean, take some pressure off of the low back if you would like. One more here. Ease that forward. Let's go same thing with the left leg, step it back hips and front knee go forward until you feel a stretch could be different than the other side up to the ball of the foot press the heel back very good all right 
step it forward. Oh, it feels so good to stretch out after a tough workout. All right, that is it for today. Let's all go ahead here. It's not yoga, but I think there is something really beautiful about finishing a tough workout with a really solid cleansing breath, resetting the body. So draw a good deep breath in through the nose, come tall through the posture, and then let it out through the mouth. Body relaxes with that exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today for this walking workout. I will have lots more workouts. Like I said, subscribe so that you don't miss it here. Meet me back because we always have something amazing going on. Strength, yoga, walking, cardio, seated, standing. It is all over the place, but I really love encouraging you guys to make those changes for your health and fitness. Move your body in ways that are considerate of the joints low back, postpartum healing, all of those things. So thank you so much for supporting me while I'm here supporting you. You guys are all done for today. I will see you back here for the next workout. Go take good care of yourselves. And as always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys again soon.